Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Mustang Mach-E. We're going to cover the GT trim now and the GT performance trim for this year. So this is a our complete guide video where we cover all the standard equipment as well as the different options that are available for you on this trim. Uh, very thorough videos. If you like videos like this that come keep you updated on Ford news, product information, that kind of thing, you'll probably like some of the other videos we have on our YouTube channel. Uh, so go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you can stay notified next time we have another video uploaded to YouTube channel. Now, this video, as I mentioned, is our complete guide. So it's going to be a very thorough video, very long video. But we have timestamps down below. So you can feel free to move around in this video. Skip over sections if you watch some of their other videos. And go to other sections or replay sections by using the timestamps that are listed down below. So we thought this would be a great video for those of you thinking about ordering a Mustang Mach-E. Uh, they're not open. The order banks are not opening at the time of recording this, but they will be real soon. So uh, you can record these your, or order these yourself online uh, if you want to through Ford.com uh, starting Tuesday the 30th. Uh, but if you'd like to order through a dealer, you can do that as well. So it has the flexibility of being able to order it offline or or online if you'd like to with the uh, the, the Mustang Mach-E. So that's pretty cool and how that uh, works. Those are all free open, do not require a reservation. You can just order a 23 uh, starting the morning of the 30th uh, online. And again, like I mentioned, or with a dealer. So we're gonna cover some of the things that are standard on this and what's included with the Mach-E GT trim as well as uh, some of the other optional features you might think about getting that's available. So that way you know what you can order, what colors are available and as well when you go to your dealer. So let's go ahead and dive in and start talking about some of these features. Now we're going to start by talking about some mechanical features, but before we get into that, let's talk about the configurations that's available on the GT uh, trim here uh, to, to start off with. And we are going to be using uh, Ford's website to kind of give us some of that information over here. Uh, so going on over to Ford.com. Let's go ahead and go over here so you can kind of see that. So going to Ford.com, again, the information on the 23 is not there, but we can find information on the 22, which are pretty similar. And we'll, uh, there are just a few differences for this year. There's some things that are new for this year. So I'm going to go on over here to Electrified and go to the Mustang Mach-E. And all right. So in here, we're going to actually go and select our uh, models and specs. Same trims available for this year. We do have the Mustang Mach-E G2. It says not available for order yet. And we're going to go in here because I want to kind of show you pricing from last year versus this year. So last year, these started at 61995 and for this year, uh, the GT is starting at 69895 So uh, it's gone up about $8,000 there for you. And that's basically the, the difference in, in, in pricing, I believe, because of those uh, those batteries uh, and the electrification uh, part of that that's uh, have gone up in price uh, since last year. So talk about this, the configuration for uh, the Mustang, uh, the Mach-E GT. This is available and uh, the only one battery available on this, which is the extended battery, which is what people are looking for, which is one of the uh, bigger uh, price increases. It will come standard with a 91 kilowatt hour uh, extended range batteries. That's going to come standard on the GT. It also comes standard with the E all-wheel drive system. So two different options for you. If you want to go for, with the GT trim, it's going to come with a primary rear motor, but also get a, an upgraded secondary front motor as well. Now, if you want to go to the GT performance, it's going to give you an enhanced performance uh, uh, drive for that as well there on the front. So it's going to give you better uh, driving dynamics for this if you go with that the Ford GT version of that or GT performance version of that. So real nice. Does have a single speed transmission that goes along with that. Now we're gonna cover some of the mechanical features. So I thought a great way to do this is all these mechanical features actually are the same between all of the models and trims. So I'm gonna play a clip from the premium video that I did yesterday. That kind of goes over some of the mechanical features that are standard on this. So if you did, have you watched uh, the other videos, this is probably where you can skip ahead and talk about the safety features as, uh, if you want to move ahead to the next timestamp. Also have sleep three selectable drive modes as well for you. Kind of keep this image up here so you have something to look at there. Three selectable drive modes. You have engage, whisper, and unbridled. So, of course, that range does get affected by which uh, driving experience or drive mode you like to choose. That unbridled gives you that sport ride and feel like you'd have with the Ford Mustang. Uh, and But that will affect a little bit on your range when you use that mode there. So keep that in mind. Also, you do get one-pedal driving available. So with an Eco Coach, uh, I love this. Auto uses the uh, uh, available with the 
engage mode so you want to use that mode uh, i love the one pedal driving basically you don't have to press the, the brake whatsoever when you let go of that the gas pedal it's going to start slowing you down so i love how that works it does have regenerative braking system as well so you want to use that as as good as you can because uh, regenerative braking is going to use the brakes to uh, regenerate some of the power back to the batteries to extend your life and your range there so you want to make sure you do a good job with your braking there also you're going to have transmission oil cooler front and rear stabilizer bar you also have electronic or electric power assist steering the e-pass system uh, that'll help you out you know on the highway it's going to stiffen it up so that way you don't get pushed from side to side but a lot easier to steer when you're in slower speeds electronic traction control is also going to become standard on this and you're going to have electric parking brake with the auto hold so that comes in real handy especially when you use your one pedal driving but even if you don't use a one pedal driving you can have the auto hold on so you can let go of the brake when you're at stoplights and such and it'll hold that brake for you until you're ready to go let's talk about the charging capa uh, capabilities say if you did watch this on the select you could probably fast forward to the to the uh to the safety uh, because it is all the same for the um for the premier uh, premium model as well it'll have that j1772 uh combo connector system there um so that way you'll have be able to charge either a 120 volt a 240 volt or even those dc fast chargers uh of course uh, up to 10.5 kilowatt uh, with the uh, up to 40 amp capabilities with the AC charging, um, that's with the 240 volt, of course. DC charging up to 150 kilowatt uh, capacity or capability there. Uh, so that means if you have a, if your DC fast charger that charges faster than that, you'll be stopped and limited to 150. Uh, that's what Ford system allows for that to come into the vehicle. You will get an LED charge lighting so you can see how much of your battery is charged without having to go into the vehicle or into your app to look at that. And you will also get a charge, uh, a power cord that comes with it, a mobile power cord that allows you to switch between the 120 volt or the 240. Uh, 120 uh, volt will get you about 15 amps, um, up to 15 amps of speed. Uh, and charging as well, the 240 volt will give you up to 32 amps if you use that. So keep that in mind. And it'll give you that mobile cord that you can switch those uh, out uh, from each other and a single phase onboard charger with that charger um, and then don't forget you'll have the ford pass connect to allow you to be able to go in there and be able to manage your charging in there so you can see what the vehicle is charged at you can be able to see where different chargers are around using the app and of course in your vehicle as well so pretty cool on how all that works so that's all your mechanical features you want to cover let's talk about a few safety features now now let's start talking about some of the safety uh, features and this one just like i just mentioned with the mechanical features uh, on the are all the same standard features as we did see on the premium trim uh, so i did a video on that where it covered all the things that are included in that including the active the copilot 360 active 2.0 uh, with the blue cruise and intelligent adaptive cruise it is standard on that as well as with this and all the uh, safety features are the same as well so again if you watch that video uh, if you watch the premium or even you watch the california route one video uh, these uh, all features uh, safety features are going to be the same as it was in those videos again somewhere if you want to skip over this timestamp move on to the exterior features this is where you can do that but if this is the first time if you only watch in this one because you knew you wanted the gt and want to know that information let's check out that information that I recorded in yesterday's video now for our safety features uh, I'm looking at this over I believe it's all the same safety features that we did see in the select so if you did watch that video this is where you probably could go to the next timestamp to go into the exterior styling but for those that have not watched that one or just watching this one because this is the model you think you want let's go through the safety features here now first you'll have advanced track uh, and with roll stability control so hopefully with that the goal of that is to keep you on your intended path. So it uses a series of brakes and um, more power to each of those wheels, whichever wheel it needs to keep you on your intended path. It does have electronic stability control as well uh, that goes along with that, advanced track with electronic stability control. And you will have SOS post crash alert system. So if you are in an accident, honks the horns, flashes the lights, lets people know that you need to come to your safety. 911 assist as well. So it allows you to be able to use your Bluetooth enabled phone to call 911 directly. And special that it helps you out if maybe you can't get to your phone, which would be, uh, uh, they'll be able to help you out that way. You do get pre collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So if someone in front of you is going slower than you, you're going too fast, and you would hit them, it's going to alert you and let you know series of tones and even initiate, initiates the brake support as well to stop you so you don't hit them. Uh, if you are in an accident, there is post collision braking as well. So if you maybe are unconscious, not able to put it in park, 
something like that, it's going to help break the vehicle for you. Now, as you're backing up as part of the, since you do have an electrified vehicle, it's going to be quiet. People aren't going to know that you're wanting to back up. It does have the audible sounds. So the vehicle alert, the alerts your pedestrians that you're backing the vehicle up. It just uh, comes in real handy. Uh, some other safety features, you do have advanced security package that gives you your security lock, passive and theft system, as well as your parameter alarm system. So what this means is that only that coded key is able to start the vehicle. So when you shut the vehicle off, it locks it up. So that way only that coded key can start the vehicle up. So it wants to know that key's in the vehicle. And then it does have intrusion and inclination sensors. So when you get out of the vehicle, you lock it up, nobody's inside. It's going to go ahead and set those sensors. And if somebody breaks into the window or tr tries to get any kind of anything moving inside, it's going to set up the alarms and let people know that someone's trying to break into your vehicle. Also, if somebody tries to take your wheels. If they jack that front up or the back up, it's going to also, the inclination sensors will go off and let people know that they're, tr you're, they're trying to do that as well. It does have your lane keeping system. So that system there is, a, of course, has a driver alert system, has in lane keeping aid or alert system. So the, the driver alert will basically alert you if you're taking your hands off the, off the steering wheel too often or for too long. The lane keeping aid and alert system just allows you to go over to the line. If you have the alert set, you'll go over the line, but it'll vibrate the stream and let you know you've left your lane. The aid system will actually go over to the line and bring you and keep you within your lane. You can use those together if you want, and what that'll do is when you get over the line, it'll vibrate the steering wheel, but still bring you and keep you in your lane. Now, this does have standard equipment on all of the Mach-E's for this year, is the, the Copilot 360 Active 2.0. And this system is what gives you the Blue Cruise. So on the premium model, you do get Blue Cruise, I believe, for the first three years uh, as part of the subscription. You do not have to sign up for a subscription. You're going to get the first three years for free with that. That's your hands-free driving. That allows you to be able to take the hands off the steering wheel and select highways with your cruise set. And it allows you to be able to do that. And it's going to keep you in the lane, turn everything. Uh, and when it needs to, it'll tell you to come back and put your hands on the steering wheel. You do have to pay attention. Have your eyes on the road. If you take your eyes off for too long, it'll tell you to take control of the steering wheel again. This also does have the, because it, it, um, to use that system, it does use the intelligent access um, or the intelligent adaptive cruise control. Sorry, some words just trigger other words. <laughs> intelligent adaptive cruise control. That's going to do is when you have your cruise set, it's going to allow you to go to your speed. If someone's going much slower than you, it's going to slow you down to go their speed without you having to press your brake. Uh, if you pass them and re you know, resume back, then it'll resume back. Also bring it to complete stop if you're in that situation as well. So if you're behind somebody and they come to complete stop, you will. When they take off, it'll resume and keep that, that distance apart from that, that vehicle in front of you. Also comes with lane centering with that. So uh, this system is different than your lane keeping system. Lane keeping uh, is uh, can be activated even without your cruise control on. The lane centering is activated with your with only your cruise control. So its goal is not to let you get over to the lines, but keep you in the center of your lane. Also with the system, you get the speed sign recognition system. So that means it's reading the speed signs. So if you have your cruise set at 70, the speed sign changes to 65 when you it'll slow you down to go 65. Now there is a tolerance you can put in the system allows you to be able to go five or six or seven over or, or up to I think 15 over the speed limit <laughs> for bed uh, but you can set your tolerance of what you like to go over the speed limit and when that speed sign changes it'll take you to that speed uh, on the vehicle so that, that comes real handy. Also you do have invasive steering assist so if you're not able to break the vehicle in time and you need to avoid that vehicle in front of you uh, it'll aid in steering you away from that. Now that is a system you can activate and deactivate in your driver assistance features well, along with a lot of these other features we've been talking about. All of them are customizable for what you're wanting to do. If you don't want the intelligent adaptive cruise you want traditional cruise you can do that and choose a, uh, the traditional cruise. Also there is intersection assist too. So if you're coming up to an intersection, you're turning in front of them and that knows that you're turning and they see that there's a car coming, it's going to break you so you won't hit that vehicle. So uh, some great safety features have come along in the last couple of years here. Also does have 360 degree camera. So you're going to be able to see completely around you front washer on the front camera uh, so that, you know, sometimes we get a lot of debris from bugs and such on the front. So it does have a washer for that front camera split, uh, split view as well. So you can see that the backup camera and, uh, and all the way around you on another view. So two different views at the same time, which is really nice. And as part of this, uh, this suite of active 2.0, you're also getting the built-in connected navigation because that comes with the connected in, uh, system here. 
for the blue cruise and everything so they can help you uh, with your being able to manage your trip uh, ev trip planners what they call that where you can manage and see where do i need to stop to charge if you're on a trip uh, live traffic predictive and destinations and route guidance and everything's all included within that uh, connected navigation system so Pretty good amount of uh, safety features and some great convenience features, features in my opinion, with that Copilot 360 Active 2.0 that gives you that blue cruise. Now we're going to start and we talk about the exterior. First, want to talk about the different colors that are available for us. Uh, I do have those pulled up over here in the side. Uh, went to the gallery up here to kind of give you some some idea of the colors. Uh, for this year, we do have space white that is available, and I believe that is the color of that one right up there. Uh, is a space white, kind of a grayish tint to the white. I uh, really like it. Um, so that's a, a color that's available this year. You also do have shadow black that's available. We don't actually have a picture of the shadow black in here. That's also available. No cost color for that. Um, you also do have the rapid red. This one down here. Rapid red uh, metallic tinted clear coat. It's an extra cost color. It's about $4.95 for that color because of the clear coat uh, that's put on that. A couple of different tri-coats available. You do have the star white metallic tri-coat that's available. You're seeing here three coats of paint. For that reason, it is going to be uh, $7.95 extra for that, that color, as well as the cyber orange is also a tri-coat color and will cost you extra. Uh, past years, it's been $7.95. I don't see it actually a, co a cost on that, but it will be a little extra for that. You do also have the grabber blue that's available. That is a free, no-cost color for that. So you have grabber blue too down there. And two new colors for this year. We do have the vapor blue that's available color there you go and the shot of that so you do have vapor blue available it looks really pretty and that is actually showing it on the gt uh trim uh, right there and you have carbonized gray so carbonized gray is one of those like on a truck i'm not that big of a fan of but it looks really good on the gt on the mach e gt here uh that's a great uh color to have for the vehicle so there you go that's all your colors uh, that are available for this year. I think that silver color that they show in one of the images is actually no longer available for this year. Uh, now moving to the uh, the features, let's go back over here and we'll go into our GT trim and pull this up. So we'll move on down here. I'm going to actually go down to this section here and we're going to show you and talk about the front of the vehicle here. So it does have a distinct styling to the front. So this in here does have a different front grille. Uh, real, love the look of that grille insert. So it's a black molded in, but really great look and distinct styling to the front. You will have the black painted pony on there as well. And it's illuminated as well for you. So lim illuminated front pony up there. We'll go, we should give you some good shots of that when we talk about a package that's available where you can see that just glowing in the front. Active grill shutters as well. Uh, they'll open and close when you need to uh, for you and make it available for you to, to open and close. Uh, don't have to do anything on your part. It'll do it when it needs to. Faster speeds, it's gonna close them up since there's enough air coming underneath. Opens them up on the, in, in town, slower speeds to give you better performance there. So, Also, you do have for your headlights, automatic headlights. So come on, automatically gets dark. Shut off when it gets light if you have it in an auto setting. Also, wiper activated headlights. So when you turn your wipers on, the headlights will come on too. And you also have configurable daytime running lights that you can uh, configure to be on during the daytime just like it sounds. Also have auto high beams. They'll come on automatically uh, too if it's dark enough outside. So if somebody, uh, if you're in the city lights and somebody approaches you, it's gonna turn them off automatically for you and turn them back on when you pass that vehicle. <clears throat> and that's a setting you can uh, activate and deactivate in your uh, lighting section of your dealer, of your vehicle features and your settings. Uh, also, uh, last one on the headlights is the LED uh, projector headlights with LED signature lighting. So that's standard equipment on these, just like with the premium trim. So real nice, bright uh, lights. Projector is going to be a little brighter than your reflector LED lights, uh, just so you know that. Um, front fascia, body colored uh, upper up here. So it looks real sharp there. Black painted lower and a body colored insert uh, as well. So real nice uh, look to it uh, right through there. So it looks real cool on the front. So very distinct styling over there uh, on the front of it. Also front sensing system as well. So you're gonna, uh, if you're pulling up to somebody, it's going to alert you and let you know uh, so that you won't hit that person. Um, and also talk about the windshield. It has a laminated windshield uh, glass up here. Uh, 
a couple different pieces of glass with plastic in between. Uh, it's that kind of helps deaden some of the noise from from the road and the highway, but also it's a kind of a protective as well. So if something hits that windshield, it's that uh, plastic is going to adhere and try to keep those pieces together so that that won't shatter completely and come in at you. Also, you do have windshield wiper de-icers on those windshield wipers. So, um, of course, oh, in the wintertime, defrost the glass off, but those wipers tend to get wet and freeze up on you in those cold temperatures when you're driving on the highway and such. This uh, de-icers will help keep those defrosted so you won't have that issue. Also, rain sensing wipers. So they'll come on if you have it in one of the auto, auto set settings and you have this activated or your intermittent sentence, I should say, it's going to automatic when it starts to rain, turn those wipers on. The harder it rains, the faster they're going to wipe. Also in here, since we don't have an engine, now we have a usable front trunk area. We like to call it frunk here with Ford. Uh, so you'll have the open, it does have a drain in the bottom, so you can use it as a cooler, storage, whatever you want in there. Uh, and that's available for you to be able to use up there. So pretty cool, special design that you have up here for the uh, Mach-E uh, Oh man, the GT just looks real sharp on the front. Looks very distinct and different styling just for your GT uh, trim here. Uh, so as you can see with there, just a, a great look on the front of the vehicle. And check out that performance. I didn't mention that earlier, uh, but your 600 pound feet of torque, right? 480 horsepower, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Uh, so real nice. And you can see those disclaimers down there for a different uh, performance. Uh, some of them do uh, require that you have the you know certain range, extended range. You're getting 270 miles uh, a range on that. A little less than you see in the premium with the extended range uh, because of the performance of this. Uh, so, But great, a great uh, amount of uh, distance there and performance that you get with this. Now let's move around over here to the side and kind of talk about some of the side features. Now let's talk about the uh, wheels first here on the side and actually since that's in motion it's hard to see so we're going to go on down here to the wheels. So there, there's your wheels, an eight, a 20 inch machine face aluminum wheel with high gloss black painted pockets with uh, aero covers and you also have the uh, of course the machined center cap with the black pony emblem right there so it uh, looks real sharp on the vehicle. Also does have all season tires that comes along with it. There are two 45, 45R20s that come with that. And don't forget, tire pressure monitoring system for those as well. And you get four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. And you're going to get the red painted front and rear brake calipers as well. You can kind of see those kind of poking through there uh, for that. In fact, probably if you go up to these others, you might even see them, kind of see them right there as well. So pretty cool in how that looks there on the side uh, of the vehicle. Now look at the uh, wheel lip moldings as well. They're going to be body colored. So body color painted wheel lip moldings looks real sharp on this, uh, adds a real distinct flair to it. And that's something you don't see on any of the other three trims, only on this one for those front and rear wheel lip moldings. Now for the mirror caps themselves, they're gonna be black painted mirror caps up there. You will have power in heated mirrors. You also power, power fold mirrors and LED turn signals on the outside of those mirrors as well. Um, does have a uh, pony projector lamp. So those puddle lamps uh, is going to have that pony down there, just like you see with the Mustang. That's pretty cool and how that looks. And you will get blessed with cross traffic alert. So blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. And the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. As you're backing up, someone's going to cross your path behind you. It's going to use some of those same sensors to let you alert you. So it's going to use a series of tones. You don't want to back up and puts a light in the mirror from the side they're coming from. And if you look on your backup camera, it actually show an arrow from the direction they're, they're coming from and going to. So it's pretty cool on how that looks now on that new Sync 4A screen there. Uh, also, we'll have intelligent access, allows you to leave the, uh, you know, leave the keys in your pocket. You walk up, just press the little button on the front doors. It's gonna automatically unlock it and pop the door open. Has a little grab handle on those front doors, so that way you can open those up, uh, which makes it real nice and easy to get in. Also does have security code keyless entry keypad on that driver's side door. It's an invisible keypad. You swipe and you can program it up. So that way, if you want to get in it without having the keys on you, you can set your own personal code to get in and out of the vehicle. Also, it does have the e-latch system. So that means if you don't get the door all the way shut, it's going to go ahead and close them for you. Uh, it does have to get at least that first latch and catch before to be able to grab it in. Um, and then also all around the outside, you'll see it's going to be a black window molding, a high gloss black finish on the belt line molding as well right there. So pretty cool a look to it right there. And on the bottom part, you will have black molded in down here. So that is going to have, that's uh, you're going to have body colored around there and black molded down there at the bottom on that rocker mold or rocker panel, I should say down there. Now for your roof, 
you don't have a panoramic fixed glass roof with the infrared reflective windshield so you're going to see that as standard equipment on these actually that looks like it might be black painted see if this other one down here is the glass roof can't tell there anyway i'll, I'll pop up an image for you so you can see what that looks like uh, so that's what you're going to have on the vehicle as standard equipment uh, real nice glass roof through there and for the rear doors it does have rear child safety lock so if you want to you know lock those out you can so that way the kids can open those if you have that you know maybe you stopped shut the vehicle off and you don't want them to get out it'll lock those doors in there so it requires you to get those so now let's move around to the back and talk about some of the exterior styling in the rear of the vehicle all right, so we have a shot here of the rear of the vehicle, kind of uh, get us to, uh, something to work with here. Now here on the back, you do have a black painted rear spoiler on the back. Also that rear uh, center high mounted stoplight as well. That's your third brake light up there, but it's kind of high, so truck, even truck can see that you're wanting to brake. Rear defrost back here with a rear wiper and a rear washer uh, back there too to keep that glass free of dirt and such like that. It uh, does have LED tail lights back here and with the sequential turn signals. Uh, so that would just like with the Mustangs, uh, that's a lot of that's something people really like on their vehicles. Also, a body, uh, the rear fascia is body colored upper with the black molded in uh, down here at the bottom. So it looks real sharp on the vehicle. So that's down and under here. So it does have rear view camera, so you're going to be able to see as you're backing up. Also, of course, we talked about 360 degree camera. Reverse sensing system as well, so you have sensors in the back, so as you're backing up, we'll alert you as you get close to any items or any people. And it does have reverse brake assist, so if you're not going to stop, it'll stop the vehicle. Make sure you don't hit anybody as you're backing up. It does have the GT badge on the lift gate back here. I don't know if you can see that up close. Don't have a really good shot at the back. It does have that GT badging on the back of that lift gate. Um, and also power lift gate is standard equipment on this unlike some of the other models like the gt route one or the, i mean the california route one i mean uh with this one you're going to have power lift gate instead of a manual lift gate which is real nice to have also it's going to have a rear uh, cargo cover so cargo area cover that's actually going to be on that gla back glass so when you open it up it'll actually cover that so people can't see inside there which is uh, nice to have and inside you'll have cargo tie down hooks couple of those in there to, to tie things down also adjustable load floor in there with uh, storage for the power cord will go under there as well as a tire uh, sealant and inflator kit tire and inflator and sealant kit i always get that mixed up in there and you will also have a rear area cargo light and you will have a um, power point back there as well in the vehicle so those are all of our exterior features now let's give you some shots of the interior and talk about some of the interior features all right, so moving to the interior of the vehicle, now this uh, does have, start with the airbags, dual stage front airbag for the driver and front passenger, deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle, and it does have a driver D airbag as well. On the side, you'll have a front as well as rear side mounted airbag as well for any side collision. If the side impact, it'll deploy the airbag for not only the front, but also the rear seat back there too. And you'll have a safety canopy airbag, and side, a side curtain airbag, I should say, with a rollover sensor so that's going to pull that down over those rear windows hopefully uh, protect you from breaking glass in the situation of a rollover there also you will see illuminated entry kind of see it in this image here so it kind of lights everything up in there it does have ambient lighting multi-color of course mustang was one of the first vehicles to get multi-color ambient lighting you will also get it on the gt as well uh being able to choose the different colors now some of the other models like the um like the uh, select as well as the california route one they only get to choose they only have illuminated entry that's blue you'll get to choose the color for yours for that ambient lighting so that lights up even more instead of just the foot wells they're going to light up another air lighting as well throughout the vehicle so it looks real cool in the vehicle uh, front door scuff plates that are going to include a metal insert as well with the pony graphic and gt lettering in there so it looks real sharp you will get carpeted mats floor mats for the front as well as the rear uh, foot, foot, foot wells in there and you'll notice a little bit different dash finish uh, on this as well. You're going to have an aluminum applique uh, finish on the dash too. So in a, what they call instrument panel across there, it looks real sharp on the vehicle. Uh, you will get bucket seats with a console, flow through console. You can kind of see here with an armrest pedestal as well there. Uh, so it looks real cool. Now these seats will be, and let's see if I can get some other images. It does actually mention the seats here. They are a sports style seat, ActiveX seating with Miko suede inserts. Uh, does have copper metallic stitching with copper metallic accent piping you can kind of actually see some of that piping 
with those seats there. Uh, looks real sharp in the vehicle uh, as well. You will have eight-way power driver seat, forward back, up and down, power recline, also power lumbar. And the passenger seat also gets eight-way power passenger seat, forward and back, up and down, recline and lumbar just like the front seat or the driver's seat also you're going to get the head restraints are four-way adjustable up and down as well as forward and back so they actually ratchet forward so you bring it forward and then you'll want to kick it to go back um, front heated seats as well so the driver and front passenger will have heated seats uh, standard equipment and you also get driver memory that memorizes the position of the driver's seat as well as the side view mirrors so that's uh, going to be part of the driver features in the rear seat, I need to get some other images here. Let's see if we get any others of the interior. Yeah, we have some of the back. Anyway, don't have, don't see any images of the back here. Um, there you go. Um, so in the back, we do have a second row 60-40 split bench seat, fold down armrest as well with two cup holders in it. Uh, comes out of that middle uh, uh, backrest there. In there, also USB ports, USB Type A and C behind the rear console. Uh, for those in the in the back, you do have the latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children that has the harnesses for that uh, go between the seat cushion and the seat back. Put that front or rear facing car seat in there. And for those that have a front seat, uh, front facing car seat, there's also a latch system on the back of the seat that keeps that top of that car seat back towards the vehicle. So the or towards the seat, I should say. Also for the windows, power windows with global open close, which means from the outside, you can open those windows using the remote. So you just hit the unlock once and then hit it and hold it the second time. And eventually it'll roll down those windows. Also going up, hit the lock and press and hold the lock and they'll go up. Also, you do have one touch up and down feature for all four of the windows, which means that you just hard press it down and you don't have to hold it. They're going to go down for you. And as well as you come up, kind of pull it up until you feel a click and then it'll go up and you don't have to hold it. Your locks, of course, you get power locks with unlock or auto lock and auto unlock, which means when you start going, it's going to automatically lock the doors. When you shut the vehicle off and open the doors, it's going to un automatically unlock the rest of the doors. You do get enhanced memory as well. That's going to save settings for driver display, radio navigation, and driver assistance as part of the personal profiles, which we'll talk about in a little bit. You also get manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So lever underneath the steering wheel that allows you to go up and down, forward and back with the steering wheel. Also, you on for the steering wheel cover, you also have a smoked uh, copper stitching on that. So it's going to be uh, wrapped and has some stitching on it. So it doesn't mention that it's any different than the other. So it could be a soft vinyl wrap on that. Uh, also get your heated steering wheel for that steering wheel too. Uh, that goes along with your heated seats when you use your remote start settings. Now you can actually see the display through the productivity screen there. It's a 10.2 inch digital productivity screen with your speedometer. Your, you can see your uh, range and everything right through, through there. Different displays you can see. Different drive modes will change that display with outside temperature, compass as well. You do have push button start. You can actually see the button right there to the right of the steering wheel. So you don't have to get the keys out to start to get in and out or to start the vehicle. Now on this 15 and a half inch screen, you will see your dual zone climate control on the bottom part of that around that, that round dial right there. Uh, so that way the driver and front passenger are going to have two different temperatures. That's where your heated seat button is going to be as well for the driver and front passenger. It will also have Beano audio sound system by Bang & Olufsen, 10 speaker audio sound system with subwoofer. You will get Sirius XM satellite radio with the new 360L. And you're going to see there has the new the Sync 4A screen uh, with the 15 and a half inch screen. So uh, love that display there. Uh, normally we'll, we'll have this a split in half for you. And down at the bottom, you'll have the digital dash cards or the adaptive dash cards that allow you to be able to scroll the most recent view dash cards. And then you can expand it to this full view like you're seeing here. Uh, as well it also come with digital owner's manual wireless uh, android auto apple carplay um, and it'll come with personal profiles and conversational voice commands uh, recognition too um, don't forget it does have the ford pass connect allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the ford pass app so you uh, download your app you can remote start the vehicle from anywhere unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere even schedule remote start times see tire pressure with that locate your vehicle a lot of other features within that including all those features that go along with your connectivity with your uh being able to, ma to manage your range and everything and your charging you can see how you know what the charge rate is on your vehicle and everything and also you, it shows you different places you can stop and charge so uh, really cool and how you can manage your charging with the app 
Uh, also up here, you do have auto dimming rear view mirror, so you don't have to worry about adjusting it. So of course, come up behind you with those bright lights. It's gonna automatically adjust it for you. Overhead console, uh, you're not seeing it in this image, but it does have overhead console with the sunglass bin in there. And the visors are sliding visors, so you can flip those down, they'll slide. If you take those out, they'll slide along, so you can move that to the side window and slide it. Also, it does have vanity mirrors in there too with that are illuminated as well. Universal garage openers on the visor for the driver's uh, visor, so that way you can program different types of transmitters in there. Uh, for garage doors and such, you don't have to have the garage door on the visor. USB ports, you have down in some media hub area, you have two USB ports, a USB type A and C, as well as a wireless charging pad down there, and you'll have a PowerPoint in there. And don't forget about the rotary dial shifter that's down there as well. So again, as you can see, a lot of standard features that are included in this, but there are also some optional features. And let's talk about that GT performance package, what's included in that and the performance you have there. Now we're going to talk about the GT Performance Edition. Now this in here is, if you want to take that performance to the next level, you can see I do have it on this GT Performance Edition. Uh, so these numbers up here we're talking about, that's the performance numbers you get with the GT Performance Edition. So you get a different, uh, one of the things that does say that's a requirement in here is that by going to this, uh, it is uh, um, that you requires you to get the Performance Edition uh, um, motors there so drive uh, train for that so you get the primary electric rear motor uh, and then the upgraded secondary electric front motor with the enhanced performance with this and that's going to give you the 400 horsepower 600 pound feet of torque in 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds so if you want a Mustang type of ride and drive like you'd see in the GT with the GT performance package this is the trim for you this is the you want to make sure you add this package to your vehicle uh, so the GT Performance Edition. Now it does give you some nice upgrades and appearance as well with that. Uh, as you can kind of see a little bit of that uh, with these wheels over here. So you're going to get these types of wheels uh, with this. Uh, so you do get an, us on, an uh, also an unbridled extend drive mode as well with this. So it looks real cool. And put it in unbridled and that really helps out with that. Of course you get unbridled with uh, your other with your GT as well. Um, but this is going to just take it to next level for this. So you get a 20 inch machine face aluminum wheel with the high gloss ebony painted pockets. So again, it is this wheel here. So real cool looking wheel uh, really doesn't uh, not a typical wheel you would see on an electric vehicle uh, really built for performance. And that's why you see some of these numbers that maybe uh, go down here on your range uh, is because of some of that aerodynamics. You lose a little bit of that with that wheel, but man, you get the performance out of it uh, with that. Um, also, you do get um, the Magma Ride, Magna Ride dampening suspension as well. So that is going to be able to adjust and quickly uh, that suspension uh, for to make it just right for whatever situation you're wanting to drive uh, and uh, constantly uh, monitoring that. So that is something you see on your performance vehicle so this is definitely a, a this is a good system here uh that i think you'll like if you want to get take it to the next level and have a great performing vehicle uh this is a great way to go so this is going to be a lot of fun for you here if you uh slow like this uh also on the inch here see if it has i oh, got down here we'll talk about there's the wheels it's talking about so gt performance edition gets us 20 inch machine face wheels with the uh, 245 r20 Pirelli summer tires it says here uh, so that's what you'll get for those now moving to the performance interior that you see right here so it looks real cool uh, so it does take you uh, give you the nice uh, performance gray ActiveX front seats with the perforated uh, reflective Miko inserts and metallic accents. So instead of the copper, you're gonna have more of a metallic look to that. Uh, so you're gonna get the, the front seats with those gray accents uh, and the metallic stitching instead uh, up there. So it looks real uh, real cool on the uh, front. Uh, fix, fixed position for those head restraints though. I mentioned the up and down, forward and back. They're gonna be a fixed position for those head restraints. That's something that you need to remember. And the uh, dash applique is gonna be unique as well, as you can see right through here. Oh, it just looks sharp out here on the interior. So you're gonna get all that as part of this GT Performance Edition. So if you, again, want to take it to the next level, not only getting some great performance, but a great look, uh, a nice wheel, as well as some a different look, look interior as well that's included with this package. Now let's talk about a new package for this year. Now we did lose the white, uh, the ice white appearance package, uh, but this year we have a new package available in not only the Mustang, but the Mustang Mach-E 
in the premium but also in the gt performance edition is available uh, does require to have the gt performance edition not available on just the gt and it is the mustang night pony package they did uh, reach out to social media said give us a name for this package we want to rename the and rebrand re the black appearance package so now it's the night pony package uh looks real sharp so here's what it looks like and that's on the uh, cyber orange there and this is for the gt uh, performance uh as you can tell great look to that man that is really pop and look good on the on there uh it will have a did uh of course a dedicated a uh, wheel for that so this is going to get a 20 inch high gloss wheel so that's gonna that will replace your gt performance wheel so if you do go with this you add this package to your gt performance you'll get this wheel as well and now we actually have a, a good look at the red brake calipers that i was looking for earlier <laughs> so there you go that's a look there uh so you get those upgraded the 20 inch high gloss painted uh, wheels also you're going to see the the door on the side the little badging there on the side giving the mach e 4x badging over there with the black uh, with a painted black outline as well and you're going to also get a gt uh, badge it's going to be painted with the back black outline on the back of it i don't actually have any images of that uh and then the wheel uh, center cap as well uh so pretty cool uh how all that looks um and there is the grill uh of course i uh, didn't have an image of that earlier so i forgot i had this in my clips here <laughs> but there you go there's that grill with illuminated and that's you're going to have regardless uh whether you don't have this package it's not included in this package but you're going to have that illuminated front pony up there standard equipment already on the gt and gt performance i uh, just wanted to show you a close-up of that so this is a cool package again new for this year does require the gt performance edition to get this package but is available as optional equipment for you now let's talk about some optional equipment that's available for you on the GT and GT Performance. And that is, uh, one of them is, I want to talk about this uh, factory installed option, is the front license plate bracket. So uh, if you uh, live in a state that requires a front license plate, it's going to be standard equipment. It'll come with the vehicle. If you live in a state that does not require a front license plate, it is a standalone option uh, that you'll need to make sure you order. If you order from the factory, then the dealer will put it on at no charge for you. If you get this later, you'll have to pay for the tag as well as the install fee. So something to think about if you're wanting that. Um, also, another package, it's a Ford accessory uh, package, which means it'll be put on your vehicle at the factory, but you can also get these from Ford accessories, and that's the interior protection package. Uh, you can get that. It's a, it includes a cargo floor liner uh, that will protect it, kind of an all-weather mat back there that protects the cargo area. Also, it's going to come with first and second row floor liners, so those are all-weather liners. Now, if you do get this, you will not get the carpeted mats, uh, just so you know that, and um, nice floor liners that go in that. So floor liners and cargo mats. That's the interior protection package that's available and optional for you. Now, new for this year are four dealer installed options. Mention these in the other uh, three videos prior to this, but also the same ones for this one as well. You get that wheel lock kit, so that will replace one of the lug nuts for the lock uh, with one that's uh, lockable there with the, the the socket that's specific for that one and keep in mind these are all these options i talk about are deal installed options which means they won't be put on at the factory they'll ship the parts to the dealer and the dealer will put them in the vehicle or on the vehicle and that's what this is one where they would put that on the vehicle the exterior bumper protector is another option for you and that's going to go on the bumper itself when you open that lift gate so that way if you drop things tend to drop things on there and scratch that up this will protect it and put it on there. Now, this is something you can get afterwards through Ford uh, accessories as well if you want to and put it on yourself. And the last two things are also things that I would just I would just probably get through Ford accessories and get it through Ford. And one of them is a roadside assist kit. And that's going to come with different things like, you know, markers and such. If you're off the side of the road and need someone to come to your safety, uh, it comes with a nice bag to put everything in to keep and contain it. And you can put that, you know, in the cargo area or maybe even under the cargo floor. Um, that's going to come. The dealer will just put that in the vehicle. Also, the first aid kit. Again, something can get through Ford Accessories. Comes also in a nice bag with, the, the you know, all the Band-Aids, gauze, that kind of stuff that you might need. Um, so you can also order that too for the vehicle. And that will come to the dealer and the dealership would put it in the vehicle. So those are all your accessories uh, that are available and optional for you on the GT and GT Performance. There you go. There's all your standard as well as optional equipment and a couple different packages that are distinctly and different for the GT 
including that GT Performance Edition. So uh, again, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Again, I, I mentioned it would be kind of long. Hopefully you can use those timestamps down below. Go back to anything you want to rewatch and, and show you that. Uh, you can do that. And hopefully this video does help you out. Since the order banks are opening up real soon, you can order this either online, like I mentioned, or through your local dealer. This gives you some information of how you can order your GT uh, for the Mo Mustang Mach-E if you want that, as well as some different pricing. Uh, I did mention, you know, all the pricing updates. There are, you know, of course, what's standard on this uh, as well and uh you know don't forget about that destination delivery I actually forgot to mention that in some of mine uh but yeah there's some a few things if you that gt performance edition uh is uh six thousand dollars if you're wanting to add that to the vehicle and i was right on those color costs it, i actually did find it finally on here uh, uh if you want to add those and um let's see interior protection package is 240 as well and the mustang night pony package is 800 dollars uh, in case you're wondering on some of those uh, most of those dealer installed options are less than 100 dollars for each of them so anyway if that should help you out if it did and you like this video go ahead and smash that like button i'd appreciate it also if you like this video you might like some of our other videos hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell that way you can stay notified next time we have another video upload to our youtube channel and don't forget too you can go to your local uh, ford dealer that's an ev certified dealer uh to order these vehicles uh if you're struggling to find a dealer that's honoring msrp pricing uh and uh, you know and also know how to do uh, price protection as well as lock in your incentives and rates uh, law macarthur does you can always reach out to us if you'd like to and we can do that for you we are doing msrp pricing we also are doing a $500 dealer fee, and we also know how to honor the price protection as well as lock in your rates if you're wanting to go with us. And we'll also include free shipping. Just mentioned you saw this uh, video on YouTube, and we'll give you free shipping. And we're very transparent about how this offer works. We do ask you to finance the vehicle with us. So we're very transparent about that. If you finance the vehicle with, with us at standard rates, we get enough kickback from the lenders to be able to pay for the shipping. And that's why we do max it at $1,000. Uh, or we can pay for your travel expenses. So if you want to fly in, we can pay for your flight, or we can pay for up to $1,000 of your shipping costs. So again, uh, reach out to us if you want to do that. Call us 785-823-2237, and we can help you out with that, and uh, we'll get that order in for you uh, right here at Law MacArthur. Now, don't forget, you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if you want to follow me, you can uh, find my Linktree account right there on the screen where you can find all the different places you find me on social media as well as different videos and such right there on that Linktree account. Uh, the, the, all the different links are in one place for you. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this, uh, the videos that we did on the Mach-E. If this is the first one we've watched, we did video on the Select Premium as well as the California Route 1. Check out those videos too. Uh, and hopefully we can catch you on another one of our other product videos as well as our YouTube uh, live streams every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central Time too. Again, thanks for watching this video. Until the next one, we'll see you later.